Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we are going to see how to use background subtraction method in OpenCV. So first of all, what is background subtraction? So background subtraction is common and widely used technique for generating the foreground mask, which is also known as the binary image containing the pixels belonging to the moving object of a scene when these images are captured using a static camera and as the name suggests background subtraction calculates the foreground mask performing the subtraction between the current frame and the background model containing the static part of the scene so for example the background subtraction method can be used in the case of visitor counter where you have a static camera capturing the number of visitors entering or leaving the room or you have a traffic camera which wants to count the various uh, telematic data from the moving car or moving car data which is captured by that traffic camera. Now there are several algorithms which were introduced for the purpose of this background subtraction and OpenCV has implemented few of them which we are going to see one by one. So as you can see here I have this example which is a very simple example of just taking a video and then we are extracting each and every frame of that video and showing it into a window so using I am show method I'm just showing each and every frame of that video so this you already know from the previous uh, videos how to capture the video frames from a video file or the live camera so when I run this code you will see that there are few uh, persons which are moving here and we want to uh, detect all those moving uh, persons which are moving in the image. So for that we are going to use a few uh, methods which are available in OpenCV. So let's first write some code and I will explain you what this code is going to uh, do. So I'm going to define a variable after uh, this line of code and I'm going to define a variable name fgbg for foreground background and then I'm going to uh, just call cv.bgsegm so bgsegm and then I'm going to call a method called create background subtraction mog method so this create background subtraction mog method is a Gaussian mixture based background and foreground segmentation algorithm. So using this line what we are doing is we are just creating a background object of the function using uh, this method create background uh, subtraction mog. Now uh, this method has uh, some optional parameters like uh, history, number of Gaussian mixtures and uh, threshold but all of them are set by default so you don't need to set anything uh, specifically unless you want to change some of the optional parameters so i'm going to leave everything as default and i'm not going to give any uh, argument here for uh, this method and then after i captured each and every frame inside this while loop what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable called fg mask for foreground mask so I'm going to just write uh, fg mask is equal to and for getting the foreground mask we are going to just call a method called apply on this fgbg or the background subtractor image so we are going to just take uh, fgbg and then we are going to call a method called apply here and it takes one argument which is the frame which we are capturing okay so we have applied this method and then we are just uh, getting the foreground mask 
using the apply method on this background subtractor variable and that's it so this is your foreground mask so when i just use one more i'm show window and this is for the fg frame let's say so fg uh, mask frame let's say okay so fg mask frame and we are going to just uh, pass this argument here so let's see what result we get after we apply create a background subtractor mog method so you can uh, see this uh, normal image here and also you will see uh, these uh, moving persons in the foreground mask right so you have subtracted the background for, from the foreground and you can easily detect the moving uh, persons here inside this image using this mask you will also observe that there is a very uh, little uh, noise not much uh, when you use this kind of uh, subtraction using create uh, background subtractor mog method there is one more method which is called background subtractor mog2 which is also gaussian mixture based background for and foreground segmentation algorithm so let's use that method also so this method is directly available under cv2 so you just need to write cv dot create background subtractor mog2 okay and everything will uh, remain the same so it's going to return you the background subtractor variable which you can use uh, with this apply method to get the foreground uh, mask okay so let's see how uh, this method performs so you can see the result which is quite different from the first method which we have used so in the previous case we have to create the background subtractor object and here in this method you have an option of detecting the shadows so there is an optional parameter which you can give uh, into this uh, method which is uh, this create background subtractor mog2 which is called detect shadows so by default this detect shadows is true that's why you see the shadows there if you just write detect shadows is equal to false then it's not going to detect the shadows so i'm going to just run the code once again and you can see now shadows are less visible right so let's uh, run the default case once again so let's say we just write true here and you will see the shadows in the gray um, color right so these shadows in the gray color and when we just make it false so detect shadows false you will not see that gray color okay so shadows are uh, displayed in the gray color so if you don't see any gray color then shadows are not detected this is a noise which uh, is detected but not the shadow okay so this is uh, the difference between the first background subtractor method and the background subtractor mog2 method there is uh, one more method which is called the background subtractor gmg so this algorithm which we are going to use so let's uh, use uh, this uh, method first of all which is called background subtractor gmg which is available under cv dot bg segment as the first method so just write bg s e g m dot create background subtractor gmg method so this create background subtractor gmg method algorithm combines statistical background image estimation and pre pixel bayesian segmentation let's see how this method performs when we uh, just use this gmg method and when you will see here there is nothing on uh, this uh, uh, foreground mask frame so to get the better result you need to apply morphological opening to the result to remove the noises so we are going to uh, do just that so i'm going to just overwrite this uh, fg mask uh, frame using a method called cv dot 
morphology x this also we have seen in the previous videos right so the first uh, uh, parameter here will be fg mask parameter the second parameter here will be uh, the op so cv2 dot morph open we are going to use the morph open uh, uh, method and then the third parameter will be the kernel so we need to define the kernel also so for defining the kernel let's define the kernel outside this while loop so i'm going to just write uh, kernel which takes few argument first is the shape so we are going to say we want the morph eclipse shape so i'm going to just write uh, morph eclipse and then the kernel size will be let's say 3 comma 3 okay so we are going to apply this kernel using this morphology x uh, method and when we are going to run this code you can see uh, these kind of uh, results which are not as good as uh, uh, you have seen in the first method now let me show you the last background subtraction method which is called the background subtractor knn method so this method is available under cv2 directly so we are going to just uh, comment this kernel uh, code because for this method we don't need to define any kernel so we can just write cv dot create background subtractor and then at last you just need to write k and n in capital okay uh, and it also takes few optional parameters like history and other parameters but these are optional parameters so for now we are not going to set any uh, parameter and let's see the result uh, which we get using this knn method so i'm going to run this code and you can see uh, uh, this knn method result it also shows the shadows in the form of gray pixels so whatever uh, gray pixels you see here in this image are the shadows in this method also there is an optional parameter which is called detect shadows which is set by default to true so when you uh, make it false the shadows will not be uh, detected so you can see no gray pixels are visible now when you make it true then the gray pixels will be uh, visible and those gray pixels indicates the shadows right so these are the few methods which you can use for the background subtraction in OpenCV. i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video